get it. I love you just looking at it right here. <laughs> I don't care about the camera. I don't even know what to say, man. This is beautiful. Outstanding. Hey, man, Outstanding. Where'd John at? <laughs> <laughs> you you may not be able to see me, but I can't believe what I see right here. This is amazing, man. Amazing. Amazing, right? This is the best MG I've ever seen. <laughs> You're not acting right now. No, right? I'm floored. <laughs> I'm floored. I'm not that good. <laughs> you see my stuff. I'm not that good. This car is insane. I mean, the Sebring body kit looks factory. It looks dipped in paint, and the color is like one of a kind. It has hints of the old Gulf racing livery, but it's so classy and so new. This car oozes class from every end. But the most important thing to me is they kept the bump and the second bump on the hood to identify that it's an MGC. So from what I gave you to this is a world of difference. You, you must have done a million things to this. Please tell, tell me what you did. I think probably a million and one. Right, yeah. <laughs> First started out rolling it back to the body shop and just stripping everything down and installing the body kit. You see this thing's laser straight. They crushed it. They get down. Yeah. Got it back in the fab shop, got down on suspension. Racing coil over, got the independent suspension, tubular control arm, heavy duty four link to handle all the power that engine's gonna put to the rear wheels. These cars notoriously were, were known for their poor handling, and they used to run off a torsion bar suspension. I'm assuming all that's gone. That's gone. Out and this thing will probably handle okay now? Oh, yeah. A lot okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you're definitely right, that wasn't a British rumble. It was not. What the hell's under there? American Check muscle. This. Check this out. How is that even, how does it even fit? <laughs> it's a tight fit in here. <laughs> Get it. Like, like the way you manage the engine compartment, the suspension is crafted just so the headers can see. Like there's like a piece of paper is worth a distance. <laughs> right? The way that they have it designed is classic. And the stacks, the intake manifold system reminds me of like the old V12 Ferraris and Lamborghinis with the Weber stacks. It, it truly looks the part. You have a Chevy 6.2, a built 6.2 oh, here. Oh, man. It's making, you know, over 600 horsepower <laughs> in here. You know, the original weight of this car <laughs> is like 2,100 pounds. Right. 600 horsepower. And you wanted that third pedal. Dude, it's a manual. Six speed. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. I even forgot about that when it, it pulled up. up. <laughs> I can't even believe that. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome, man. None of this matters if you can't fit in it. Quite frankly, after seeing this, you could you could grease both my hips and throw me through the window. <laughs> but it would be a bonus if it's a comfortable seat. So I can't wait to check out what you did inside. Check it out.